You will love Campbell Cove Campground for all its family atmosphere, and if these views aren't enough, we look forward to sharing with you all the reasons you'll enjoy your stay. Let's get started. First, let's discuss the location of Campbell Cove, and later we will discuss the price. Stay until the end for the top three hikes in Hocking Hills. The RV Park and Campground is located on Lake Logan, just north of Hocking Hills off U.S. Highway 33. Located in the southeast corner of Ohio, Hocking Hills is less than an hour from Columbus. This is the best easy off, easy on campground in the region, providing a carefree driving experience. We'll discuss hikes a little later, but everything Hocking Hills has to offer is about 15 minutes or less from Campbell Cove Campground. How does the price compare to other campgrounds in the region? RV sites are around $80 per night with full hookup, tent sites are near $40 per night, and cottages that sleep four are just under $100. When we checked, the local KOA had pricing about 20% more expensive. Hocking Hills State Park does have a campground with electric-only hookup. These sites are $30 per night, but are small. Also, as we will show later, there isn't nearly the amenities and entertainment that Campbell Cove has to offer. So what does Campbell Cove offer at the campground? Let's talk about campground entertainment now, and later we'll discuss what you'll find at your campsite. Campbell Cove has a lot to offer kids of all ages, if you are like us, you hike and visit the park some of the time and enjoy time in the campground as well. Located on site is an arcade for poor weather days. If you want to play outside, the playground has everything you would expect, including a slide, climbing tower, swings, tetherball, and gaga ball. Gaga ball is a version of dodgeball played in an octagon-shaped ring as shown here. If you're looking to relax while watching your brood on the playground, there's a patio behind the campground store with wonderful chairs and a ping pong table too. Located adjacent to the playground is a large jumping pad. Across the main campground road in the park is a swimming pond with a large beach. The pond looks clean and it has a fountain in the middle. The pond is separated by a floating rope to designate the swimming area from the fishing area of the pond. It's a cool way to provide a swimming experience. Consider that we saw a family paddle boarding on the pond and having fun. You'd never see that in a campground pool. How is the fishing? Our brood caught multiple bass and enjoyed the catch and release entertainment of the pond. Campbell Cove is also located on 400 acre Lake Logan. Boats and paddle sports are welcome, but a 10 mile per hour speed limit is enforced. Kayaks can be rented at the campground office. Limiting the speed on the lake makes this a great location for fishing and other relaxing activities. Some of the species you can catch in Lake Logan include largemouth bass, channel catfish, bluegill, and crappie. Near the lake is a pickleball court we notice kids playing the game as well as using the concrete service for razors and other scooters. Not to be missed is Worm Burner Park Golf. This is a different take on mini golf. Played on real grass, the holes are longer than mini golf and provide a unique experience. They have clubs and balls included in the greens fees. You can learn more in the campground store. If that is not enough, Campbell Cove has the mining experience. By purchasing a bag in the store, you can sift through the sand with water and discover hidden treasure. Hopefully, all those activities gives you at least one reason for you and your brood to stay here. Now, let's talk about what you can find at your site. Each site has a gravel pad and a large amount of grass. The sites are really spaced out well with a lot of room. RV sites include full hookup with water, sewer, and electric. Each site is equipped with 20 amp, 30 amp, and 50 amp outlets. Picnic tables are included with each site on a concrete patio. The fire pits are metal rings with grill grates. Every good campground review needs a dad joke. What kind of shoes do frogs wear when camping in the summer? Open-toed shoes. Dad joke books are great gifts. We have two we recommend and we'll put links in our description. Check them out. Okay, let's step away from the campground a little bit and talk about the top three hikes in Hocking Hills. Old Man's Cave is the most popular hike in the park. It is just over a half mile and is located at the main visitor center. This is a hike through varied terrain with spectacular views of rock features at every turn. Number two is Rock House. This trail is just under a mile and takes you through beautiful forests to one of the best caves we've been inside. Yes, this trail allows you to explore the inside of a cave that was home to robbers, horse thieves, bootleggers, and even murderers. The third hike is Cedar Falls. This waterfall can be viewed with a quick 0.4 mile trail. All of these hikes have their challenges, mostly a lot of stairs and elevation change. If you can handle the stairs, all of these hikes are short and well worth your time. Now that you know what is located at your site and a little about the hikes, let's discuss the campground amenities and what they have to offer to help you get stuff done. Later, we will talk about what Campbell Cove has for dogs. 
Campbell Cove is set up for taking care of those chores that happen while camping. The RV park is updated with Wi-Fi service throughout the park and it works. I had no problems working while in the park and all of our devices ran well when connected. Speaking of the office, the store has a gift shop with shirts, magnets, hats, and other gift shop items. You will also find camping supplies, snacks, and drinks. Firewood and ice are also available for sale. If you are looking for ideas, there is a pamphlet station in the campground store with material from many of the local venues. Dumpsters are located near the office, and they have a mixed-use recycling dumpster so you can recycle your cans, glass, plastic, paper, and cardboard. The bathhouses are set up well with clean, private bathrooms. Each bathroom has a locking door with toilet, sink, and shower. The shower heads are adjustable and provide a good supply of consistent temperature water. Are you looking for a unique adventure? When staying at Campbell Cove, check out Hocking Hills Canopy Tours. We spent an afternoon ziplining through the trees above the Hocking River. This experience can be catered to your family. Our brood completed the original canopy tour. Included in our tour was a grandpa and grandson, and there was also a brother and sister who were in college. So it really is fun for all ages. About six miles away, northwest on US Highway 33, Hocking Hills Canopy Tours has been open since 2007 and from our eyes provided a completely safe, entertaining adventure. We had two guides on our tour. Cheyenne and Bradley were great and really included us from the start. We started the tour with a light training. Then the first zip line was simple, low to the ground, and short. As we proceeded the zip line, the cables became higher and longer. As you are zip lining, make sure to look for deer, birds, river wildlife, and more. We'll put a link in our description to go into more detail on the Hocking Hills Canopy Tours. Be sure to check it out. Are you like us and travel with dogs? In fact, a lot of the video of the campground was taken while we were walking dogs, and Campbell Cove is great for dogs. With plenty of grass and open space, walking dogs is relaxing for you and your pet. We're always happy to see waste stations in the park, and Campbell Cove has at least two with bags and a trash can. Dogs can also swim in Lake Logan. It's always good to know what to expect near the campground. Located on the other side of the highway is a Walmart Supercenter, Tractor Supply, and Kroger. There is a Dollar General nearby, too. If you need a quick bite to eat, many of your favorite chain fast food restaurants are located within a few minutes. If you are looking for a great bar with good food, the Home Tavern is excellent. But if you need gourmet coffee, there is an Oasis coffee shop at the campground. We'll put links in our description for the coffee shop and the campground for you to learn more. For more details on the hikes in Hocking Hills, watch this video next.